Hi, my name is Chris Melnick, and I'm a realtor in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Just like a car, everything in a home eventually wears out or breaks. But since a brand new home can be quite expensive, broken things are replaced as needed, which is why some homes in this province are over 300 years old on paper. The point of this video is to let you know approximately how long different components of a home can last before needing to be replaced. This can be helpful looking at any age of home, just so you would know what to expect for the future. Oftentimes, certain items will already be replaced. And if you know the dates of that work, this will still help guide your expectations on the future ownership of the home. Many components of a home can last 70 plus years if properly maintained. So I'm not gonna list every part, but just focus on what you need to know. Here are the key, very predictable ones. Number one, electric hot water tank. This should be replaced every 10 years. This is an insurance requirement. After that time, insurance companies are hesitant that the tank could leak and cause a burst. Number two, oil tank. These should be replaced every 10 years if it's steel and outdoor. This is an insurance requirement. After that time, insurance companies are hesitant that the tank could leak and cause a very expensive cleanup. If the tank is indoor or fiberglass, this will be over 10 years. Next, double pane or thermopane windows and skylights. These last about 25 to 40 years. I've also seen these fail as early as 15 years, but generally it's only by extreme luck that they last closer to 40 years. Next, shingles. These last 15 to 25 years. This depends on the quality of shingles, exposure to the trees, and weather. Here are some other ones that do have more variability, but are still worth noting. A boiler or furnace, this can last between 30 to 50 years. These can be replaced early just to get a more efficient unit though. See my video on heat source costs for more information. Next, a septic system. These can last 30 to 50 plus years. The tank can go bad, the soil conditions in the field can go bad, or the pipes can develop issues. I've also seen a perfectly functional 70 year old system, but generally you see these replaced around the 30 to 50 year mark. Newer systems are supposed to have a greater lifespan though. See my video on well and septic systems. Next, wood siding. This can last well over 100 years if it's repainted on a regular basis. A new paint job over an old one can last about 10 to 15 years, but be careful. If a home with wood siding goes too long before getting a new paint job, the amount of service preparation and cost goes up substantially. Very neglected unpainted wood siding can need replacement after 25 years. Next, a pressure treated deck or fence. This can last about 15 to 25 years. The issue with pressure treated wood is that the pressure treating process is often done poorly when the wood is too wet. What this means is that on 4x4s especially, big cracks develop in about a year or so, which allows the water to completely bypass the treatment. I don't know why they do it this way, but it's been done this way for at least the last 10 years across the country. After 15 years, you'll often see at least a few boards or areas that have begun rotting, and the rest is soon to follow. And those are the main components of a home that you should pay attention to when looking at homes. If you want to avoid as much future work as possible, watch my video on the low maintenance home. As always, I hope you got some value out of this video. My contact information is in the description. Goodbye.